So I'm actually not sure why you would really want to do this. No uh, terribly important use cases come to mind, except maybe like being able to text from your computer using this or put apps full screen, something like that. But regardless, I thought it was really cool. Um, and this developer made a really easy way to do this. And maybe someone out there can find a, a really interesting use case for it, or maybe even just use it to test apps or I don't know. You guys let me know what the use cases are that you've come up with for it in the comments below. But in the meantime, uh, I'm gonna show you for this tip and trick Tuesday, how to easily, keyword easily, have a lag-free, keyword lag-free, experience of using your Android phone on your desktop. So this is all thanks to a crafty developer called ROM1V. Uh, and the program is called Scrippy. 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 It's not scrappy. There's no way. It's Scrippy. Uh, basically, it's a play on the Linux command Strickerpy. Strickerpy. <laughs> Which is string copy, um, and his is screen copy. Clever, right? Um, but he actually came up with a name because a colleague of his challenged him to come up with a name that was even more unpronounceable than his last project called... I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Good luck. Which, by the way, was a reverse tethering program. Um, but let's go with success, right? Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make it work for Windows because it's just, one, it's a lot easier to do. Two, most of the people with Android devices have Windows computers, um, but it does also work for Mac and Linux. So I'll leave a link below where you can find out the instructions for that. It's not much more difficult, but it's just not quite as easy and it would take me a lot longer to explain in this video. Otherwise, for Windows, we're first gonna go on the phone and go to settings. Then we can tap on about phone at the bottom. Then go to either software information or it'll possibly be listed just directly under about phone settings and find build number. We're going to repeatedly tap on that until it tells us that we are a developer. Then we can hit back and go into the new developer options menu that should have appeared and turn on USB debugging. Next, we can download the Windows package that he created by going to this link here beneath this video on the site and download the .zip file under Windows. Then we can extract it to our desktop, plug in the phone and right click on the skrkirpy.exe and select run as administrator. And boom, phone on screen. Now, there are other programs out there that can do this, by the way, um, but they require other apps to be installed, they might cost money, and they just aren't really as lag-free as this. He just did a really great job of making this work and work really easily. Um, also, here is a list of commands that you can use, for example, to bring up the multitasking option, back, home, adjust the volume, etc. And there you go. Super quick little tip and trick. Uh, thanks in big part to the programming skills of Mr. Rom1V. Um, I'm going to leave a link below for you guys to go check out his blog or his uh, page. And uh, be sure to go send him some love if this was useful for you. Otherwise, uh, let me know what you guys think of it in the comments below on this video and on my site. Always love to hear from you guys. And if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. Greatly appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And even if you are, make sure to tap the bell next to the word subscribe so you get notified whenever I do new videos. As always, though, regardless, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.